This is a work in progress customized pickup truck. I've already reviewed the 42029 LEGO Technic customized pickup truck. This is what I have so far. I've actually had several prototypes and I've, you know, dismantled and redone it. But this is actually what I have so far. So this is the chassis. As you can see, I've done a decent amount of work on it. And I just let it, I've just left it sitting. Because I want to know what you guys think about this and what you guys think I should do. Are there any suggestions that you provide? So right now I've got all the motors fitted on it. I've got the large motors about as high as I could make them without messing up the body too much. And this is what I have. So I've got two large motors for driving. So the two large motors are going to route power to the rear wheels. I found it too difficult to incorporate four wheel drive so I'm going to leave it rear wheel drive for now. So right now what I've got is rear independent suspension. It's exactly the same as the Lego Technic model. I am going to add two more shocks here and I'm going to add two more shocks here. Just as my modified Lego Technic customized pickup truck but it's only motorized with power functions and not remote controlled. But I did add suspension modifications, which I plan on doing the same here as far as the rear suspension goes. So please check it out. Now I've got a medium motor for the steering. Let me give you a closer look. These are the double pins that are holding this motor in place. In addition, there are two connection points on these two sides. The steering is geared for torque so the steering will be strong and at a reasonable speed instead of being weak and fast so I've got it geared a ratio of 1 to 1.6 so I've got a 12 tooth gear on top and a 20 tooth gear in the bottom which converts to 6 over 10 which converts to 3 over 5 which converts to 1 over 1.6. Please correct me if my mathematical calculations are incorrect. So I got a bunch of clutch gears here. I got clutch gears from the Power Functions add-on motorized set. It costs $30, I forget the name. What I wanted to do here initially was to only use pieces from the LEGO Technic 42029 customized pickup truck and the 31313 LEGO Mindstorms EV3 set. However, that is quite impossible, or at least it will make the truck look horrible it won't function properly let me show you why these are a series of 16 tooth gears there's a 16 tooth gear here 16 tooth gear at the bottom in the middle are 16 tooth clutch gears I've got this the medium motor powering through here and it won't turn the clutch gear but it'll keep it in place I've got it as a double function it'll power this come through and hold this gear in place and I've got another one right here so the steering comes through here the rack and pinion steering is right here 12 tooth gear so that's right and that's left and that's right now the reason I wanted to challenge myself to use only pieces from this Technic set and the Mindstorm set is because I was going to enter into a robot remix challenge. I misunderstood the rules and thought you could only combine one Technic set with one Mindstorm set, but that turns out not to be the case. I will change this design. So what I have here are two large motors going to two 20 tooth gears, which are powering a half 12 bevel tooth gear, which routes power to the piston engine that will be, I'm trying to get a V8 in here, but I'm not sure if that'll work. I might have to extend the bonnet right here, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna have to go with the V6 though. So routes power this way, and also routes power to the rear wheels. And I do have a differential here because I still want it to steer well, especially with the this geared up ratio. I might put knob wheels on, you guys tell me, what do you want? Do you want me to leave the differential here? You want me to put some knob wheels on? The reason that I chose the differential and a high gearing is because the motor placement makes it pretty low to the ground. So if I put some tires here, let's say it's about that high, it's gonna be pretty low. So I thought, you know what? I, I can't really take this off-road. We'll have to make this on-road, and if it's gonna be on-road, make it fun. So that's why. I am going to change this. If you guys have any suggestions for what to put here, I can try. I could use knob wheels here, the transfer if you would like, but what I'm thinking more of is putting a special gearbox here. So my plan was to put a special gearbox in here, 20 tooth bevel gear, 
20 tooth bevel gear with clutch and a 12 tooth bevel gear here but all in a special gearbox so I think the whole design would be overall stronger so this is what I have for now one last thing I do not have an extra Mindstorm's medium motor and nor do I have the room to put a power functions battery box or a power functions medium motor in you may be wondering why I'm leaving this in here I'm still gonna have hand controls so you can still use human power to tilt the bed up and down, power the winch. So I'm still planning on doing that. So this is going to be all hand motorized. The rest, the drivetrain, the steering, remote controlled, and it's going to be motorized. Again, if you have any suggestions, if you have any comments about what you think about either the creation itself or what you think about these types of videos, should I keep making them or not? anything just comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think and I'll see you next time